Let's make guacamole. So I wanted to accomplish a couple of things. I wanted to uh, show you how to properly cut and peel and get the flesh of an avocado uh, and then also make a guacamole. Uh, and you think about guacamole, the authentic guacamole is really uh, was just uh, certainly a hot pepper like this, either a uh, jalapeno or a serrano, probably serrano is more authentic, um, with some lime juice, with uh, chopped um, cilantro for sure. And, uh, and some onion and some diced onion, right? So those four ingredients kind of mixed together, ground up actually with some coarse salt, and that mixture was then added to mashed avocado, and that's really what guacamole is. Now, in America today, guacamole also typically has some uh, Roma tomato in it as well. Uh, diced tomato can have some garlic, can have some other things, but if you think about it, it is really just mashed avocado with some pico de gallo, right? What is pico de gallo? It is onion, it is a tomato, it is lime, it is pepper, and it is chopped cilantro. So that's pretty much it, right? That plus avocado that makes guacamole. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to make some guacamole, going to cut the avocado, talk about the different ingredients that can go in, and talk about some of the ideas that you had about what your favorite additions or secret ingredients were for guacamole. So let's get started. So the big idea with avocados is very simply, uh, it has a short end with the stem area and then a big fat end at the bottom. What you can do is take the avocado and take your knife or whatever knife you use is fine and bisect it right down the middle as best you can. Once you cut into it, now normally I don't recommend cutting into your hand but there is a big pit in the middle of the avocado and just work your way around, all the way around the avocado like this and once you get to the other side, you're done. And you can actually just begin to twist and you will see, oh, I got a little extra there. Uh, one side will have the pit and the other side will not. And this typically, and a lot of you know this, just take the knife, get about a sixteenth of an inch inside that pit, give it a twist and it'll come right out. Now what you don't want to do is just grab that and try to pull it off. That's where you will get, that's where you will get uh, uh, cut. What you want to do is just pinch it off from the other side, boom, like that. Okay, that's the pit. And then you take it and from the fat, on the, from the fat bottom end, if you will, Go ahead and just scoop it out with a big old spoon. And that's it. Boop. Put it right in there. I'm going to take this, I'm going to put this one here. And if you happen to see any brown parts in there, you can just pick them right out. Sometimes you get a little extra seedlings in there or whatnot. And that's it. It comes right out if the spoon is about the right size. You need a typically a bigger than average spoon, like a serving spoon, and it'll take care of that for you quite easily, okay? So I'm gonna do the rest of these and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so now I've prepped everything. I've got the avocado with the lime juice on it. I've got my tomatoes here, the chopped uh, jalapenos here, the chopped uh, cilantro here, garlic, uh, cumin, a little bit of cayenne pepper. I've got my coarse salt here that I'm gonna put on top. I just have left to chop this red onion. So let's do that and we'll put it all together. And again, I don't like to use a lot of red onion, so, or a lot of onions, so I'm just going to use a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just chop up here. And really, that's all I'm going to use. You might use a lot more, but, and that's understandable. And I'm not just going to make sure it's all chopped up nice and fine. And that's it. Oops. Yeah. Well, okay. We're <laughs> almost put that in the salt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and begin to add these ingredients. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the salt in. And go ahead and add the onions. And that's, I think, I mean, I like onions so little, but I'm going to put that much in there. I'm going to go ahead and put in the cilantro. Here's some of the garlic here. And uh, the cumin. And the cayenne pepper. 
And here's the jalapenos. I'm gonna be a little sparing on those at first. We'll see if it needs more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the other, put some of the tomato in here. And so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead. Now I'm gonna add a little more. Um, now I'm gonna add a little more lime juice to it and put it all over. So you can see. Okay. Put this in here. What I like to do is just take a regular old masher, just like this, and begin to mash it. I'm going to put it all together. And I think once it's properly seasoned, there's really nothing more delicious than the avocado. And in fact, it's actually one of the most perfect foods in the world. It's one of the original superfoods. And if you have this, if you eat guacamole every night or even avocado, it'll offset all of the other bad eating you do. So this is going to completely eradicate any of the ill effects of the margaritas or the beers or the red wine. It's weird, isn't it? I like red wine with my, with my guacamole. But it counteracts the effect of all of the bad stuff you might take in. Although red wine's not too bad. But that's just how good a food avocado is. Now, how do you like it? I like it to leave a few chunks in. I really like to leave a few chunks in. And that ultimately is what mine looks like right there. Doesn't get much better than that. Daddy, yes. Piece of the oh, thank you very much, kiddo. This chocolate for me? Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you. Okay. All right. Got a little chocolate. Okay. You can um, refrigerate this, as they say, is a good idea to do for an hour. I like it fresh, I like it right away. I'm going to go ahead and present it with some chips. Okay, so here's the final product. Uh, it looks really good. Let's see how it tastes. I'm going to use a, just a piece of a chip here. Regular tortilla. Oops, cracked it right open there. Mm. Oh my God. That is amazing. Again, there's nothing like a properly seasoned avocado. Guacamole is one of the greatest ways to enjoy one of the world's greatest foods. Um, I want to give a special thanks to Nina Mitchell, my inspiration uh, for cooking, and a fellow foodie. So Nina, this one's for you. Thank you so much. And thank you everybody for uh, being part of my very first full featured uh, food prep video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I'll have the actual recipe that I used here in the notes. So enjoy and have a great day. We're also going to use cumin. I like cumin. It's earthy, it's nutty, it's warm, it tends to take the edge off, any acidity, uh, which in acidity isn't necessarily bad in the guacamole. You want some, but I just love the depth of flavor that this adds to it. Um, and some of you recommended smoked paprika or paprika. I'm not going to use it, but good on you if you recommended it. I can't hold that against you. Cayenne pepper. Good stuff. Always add a little bit of this if you can. That's my recommendation. Now, some of you also recommended all kinds of crazy stuff. I have lists of things that you asked. Uh, they said, hey, this is what I like. Uh, Ian, scotch bonnet pepper. Like to live dangerously, huh, buddy? Uh, pickled jalapeno juice. Vodka. Thanks, Jenny. That was a great suggestion. I'm not sure if that was for the chef or for the... Anyway. Uh, jalapeno powder. Scott, thanks for that. Uh, fresh squeezed orange juice. Kirsten. Uh, unwashed hands. Okay, Ellen. I see you. Uh, feta cheese, sriracha, pepperoncino, thanks Johnny, uh, key lime juice, instead of I guess regular lime juice, Nanette, that's a really cool idea, uh, grapefruit and kale, so True Food Kitchen does a whole different take on guacamole, it's really cool, I watched the recipe, I'd love to make it, grapefruit sections, orange sections too, and kale, incredible looking uh, uh, guacamole that they make there, and thank you Pyle for that suggestion, uh, blackberry brandy and scorpion pepper, Lisa, okay, uh, tequila, Kyle, Sharn, thank you very much. Uh, mix the lime with mezcal. Martin, I see you too. Mango, mandarin, orange, dragon fruit, pineapple, and maybe even an edible flower on top. Rich Simon, thank you very much. Fenugreek, that's an interesting herb there. Okay, Ke uh, Kevin. And Eva, thank you for this idea. Uh, take the cilantro, serrano uh, chilies, let them marinate in lime juice for a couple of hours and make that part of the whole process. That was a really interesting idea. I thought that was cool. Uh, blend, into, blend that into the avocado mixture as you manage the uh, spice and the consistency. 
Uh, really great idea there. Thinly sliced jalapenos, Roberto. Got it. I'm gonna slice this one very, very thinly. You know, Sazon seasoning, a little, uh, little Miami seasoning. That's really cool. Thanks for that, Brittany. Uh, pink Himalayan salt, Gio. Gotcha. Pickled jalapenos, curry powder, bacon bits. David, I see you too. New Mexican green chilies, Carlos. Also, we have chili powder, smoked paprika, feta, cochita cheese, cotija cheese. Sorry, I'm probably saying it wrong. Madeline, thank you for that idea. I did buy some. I'm going to use that um, on my little portion of it after the fact. I'm going to sprinkle that on top. Pomegranate seeds. That came up a number of times. Keith, that was your idea first. Cream cheese or sour cream? Can't go there. Sorry. Just can't do that. And then one strange notion of using bananas. Okay, so you know where I stand on that. 